If you have chickens, you may be wondering why do mine look like Spartan warriors about to meet the Persians in the Battle of Thermopylae? Spartans! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Renee and welcome to Tater Town. What the heck is this thing? And why on earth do I need this? Well, this is an essential item that you should have in your toolbox, even if you only have hens. So stick with me in today's video, and I'm gonna show you how this can be a lifesaver. Okay, so you have hens. Spring is on the way, so I think it's only appropriate that we should have the talk. So we're really only having the talk if you have hens and a rooster. But even if you just have hens, you should really consider having some hen saddles on hand. Well, what is a hen saddle, you may be asking, or a hen apron, as it's sometimes called? Well, I had the exact same question, uh, probably with an expletive thrown in there when I first saw this thing. Shortly after I got my first chickens, Amazon threw this thing up in my recommended items list. I looked at it and thought, why on earth do they make these little saddles for chickens? Is this a dress up thing or something that a mouse can sit on and ride a chicken? I seriously had these thoughts and my curiosity got the best of me. So I decided to check it out. And once I got there, my reaction was, Oh, that's what they're for. I switched my attention and started looking for other things and never thought about it again until this. My pullets are now laying hens and one of my girls started looking like this and I started freaking out. Why is she losing feathers? Enter Google. What causes feather issues in chickens? Uh, at first I thought she had a methionine deficiency. Then I thought, well, maybe she's part frizzle and the feathers are just growing in differently. And then Nadine started losing her saddle feathers. Then another, then another. What am I doing wrong? Then one day, I finally paid attention to my rooster Bryson as he mounted Donna and it clicked. <coughs> Thank you, Bryson. This is why they make hen saddles. The treading action of his claws on her back was ripping out her feathers. But you may be thinking, oh, I don't have a rooster. Well, again, I didn't think they would come in handy if I only had hens until I got new chicks. Hi. And once they were old enough to be integrated with the older hens, I had one older hen who just terrorized the babies. Nadine loved to pull the feathers from the black stars and one had a bunch of missing from her saddle area. So guess what I needed? Hen saddle to the rescue. Unfortunately, the ones I was using for my fully grown hens didn't fit the smaller birds, so I had to get more. First I thought, I never knew such a thing existed, and now I have them in various colors and sizes. These are the ones for the smaller girls. I even lent some to my neighbor who was worried about one of her hens who was so bare she was getting sunburned. I saw her and said, here, these will help. Speaking of helping, if you find this information useful and you're enjoying the videos, please hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does help us to keep going and I truly appreciate it. Now let's get back into the video. I'm so thankful for these things because they truly save lives and the need for medical treatment if things go from bad to worse. And I've also seen some people use them on their roosters because hen pecking is a real thing for me, they are an essential part of keeping chickens, especially if you have a rooster. But there are some things you should be aware of if you decide to get some of these saddles. First, once you put them on, they tend to walk funny for a while as they get used to it. As long as it fits appropriately, they'll be fine. It is sad to see them trying to figure it out, but it really only takes a few minutes or so before they get used to them. And don't be surprised if they attack each other they are chickens and chickens are obsessive about going after something new so it will happen don't freak out just make sure they're not hurting each other it won't be long before they see them as just a normal part of their lives 
As for how long to leave them on, that depends. I leave mine on for weeks at a time and sometimes I give them a break. It's really what you're comfortable with and what your situation is. If they're pretty raw, you may want to keep them on until they start molting again in the fall, since if the feather is only broken, it won't grow back until the molt. It will be a judgment call on your part though, how long you keep them on. But you don't want to leave them on while they are molting. And that's because it can potentially cause the feathers to grow in incorrectly, or it could cause breakage of the new feathers as they're coming in, which would be extremely painful and could cause a bunch of blood loss. There are different methods to hold them on, and I've seen ones with elastic straps and ones with snaps on them. I have both. <laughs> I have both because I only had the option of elastic straps for the smaller sized ones. Having both, I personally prefer the ones with the snaps like this because they are much easier to put on and to take them off. When using ones with the elastic, I always feel as if I'm going to hurt their wings, especially if they're super fidgety while trying to put them on and ones with the snaps tend to have multiple points where you can connect them so you're better able to adjust the fit depending on the size of the bird. Which brings me to the next point. You really want to make sure you're regularly inspecting them to make sure they're always fitted appropriately. I've not had any issues whatsoever with this, but the pieces that go under their wings could get twisted and if it's too tight or too loose, it may rub where their armpit is, you know, where the wing attaches to their body. I know it's not an armpit, but it feels like that's the uh, most fitting way to describe it. And if you do have a rooster, make sure his spurs aren't getting underneath the saddle and doing damage there. I usually just run my hands underneath the saddle and see if anything feels out of the ordinary or if there's any blood. I've got a link in the description to the ones that I use, but anything you have or can get will be helpful regardless of what brand you get. They vary widely in cost, so just look for the ones you feel most comfortable with. And if you can't afford to buy one, but you do have some sewing skills, there are so many patterns you could easily make on your own. And I know some of you out there are watching this and saying, why put so much effort into this? They're just chickens. Well, first, not everybody feels that way. I definitely want to make sure all of my girls are comfortable and happy and living their best life. And I do feel that translates into a better outcome for everyone. But I certainly do understand that other way of thinking. And if you do feel that way, I'd look at it from this perspective. You put so much time and effort and money into getting them ready to lay eggs. I mean, it's a, it's a good four to six months of care and feeding before you get that first egg. And to lose a chicken, especially to something that is preventable, it just feels like a waste of my time and effort to get them to that point. Plus, I never want to see any of my animals suffer needlessly. Again, you may completely disagree with me, but I simply want to share my thoughts on these ridiculous looking contraptions and how they can benefit you if you choose to do so. Let me know in the comments if you use them and what your experience has been. What do you like? What do you not like about them? And I really wanna give a shout out to Dahlia at Chickenlandia for one of her most recent videos. I hope that we can all try to remember to be respectful of each other as we're all coming at this from different perspectives and different situations. And thank you again so very much for joining me here on Tater Town. Oh my gosh, you girls are being loud. Stop! I switched my attention. Okay. Ah! Stop it. I switched my attention. Okay, give me a minute. I got a chicken butt in my face. <laughs> and I got an egg just laying song going on in the hen house. So, I can't do it. Tension and Oh my <laughs> You're not making this easy. Stop! I love you, sweetheart. <laughs>